I still I still feel, and you know, I'll say this off the bat, and I know you're probably not going to like me for it, or some of you at least. I still feel like Izzy is the best middleweight in the division. <laughs> like Strickland had a fantastic performance against him. He's won me over absolutely this year. I have very much enjoyed his fights and his antics. And, you know, he's the, he's the typical anti-hero. He's supposed to say things that are going to rile people and upset them. I think if you actually boil him down to the individual, I don't think he's a bad person. And and I think he's a, I think he's a, an interesting, I think he's an interesting phenomenon in mixed martial arts. And I've been reflecting on this quite a bit because for me, this, like these two guys, for, don't they don't represent for me the pinnacle of all mixed martial arts technique and skill i feel like there were guys in the bantamweight on the undercard that were technically you know more sound and more proficient but what 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 we are finding is what sean strickland does is is a very effective uh, style against a lot of fighters that are are generally very effective with their striking now what drickus duplessis did well was constantly change the range I think he struggled in the first round. I gave Sean Strickland the first round. And when I was watching it, honestly, I actually gave Sean Strickland the second round. When I watched it back, though, I feel like my, my perspective changed slightly. Um, but for me, Strickland was just doing a good job. I mean, what was uncharacteristic of the first round for Strickland was that I thought it was quite a good round. <laughs> you know, like I was, I was watching it and we're like 45 seconds into the round. And what you're seeing is... Strickland walking forward and jabbing and teeping and the crowd going Strickland it was just, it was like a complete parallel universe and in that moment he must have he must have felt so it must have felt so alien to him in that moment I know you know this he has risen to the top in popularity and uh, you know I, I think now he realizes that he does have a, a lot of fans he does have a good growing fan base but I think even in that moment when he was like first round and he's kind of picking at, at Duplessis and teeping at him and the crowd are shouting at him and he's got his black and gold shorts on. And I don't know, it just must have still felt so surreal for him. It, it certainly certainly felt surreal for me watching it. And, and and I think he started off really well. But I think because he was effective with the jab and because that effectiveness with the jab went from the first round into the second round, then we started to see that swelling forming on Duplessis and he's realizing that he's getting stifled on the outside with single shots and he's trying his own single shots and they're not working because Strickland's doing a good job, job of drifting away out of, out of the range of them. So I think when as that second round was progressing and I had Strickland winning the second round up until, hang on, I've, I've, got, I've got stuff written down here. Yeah, so I, I, I had Strickland kind of edging that round until the last 90 seconds when Duplessis starts to kind of put his foot on the gas and he scored a takedown, followed it with a second. You know, I thought <clears throat> I thought Strickland was doing a good job with his jab and his defensive, just kind of negating anything that that, that, that uh, Duplessis was trying to do. Duplessis was having more success with his kicking in the second round, for sure, and I think he landed a few good body, body punches as well. But still, it was the last 90 seconds where Duplessis was like, right, I can feel the swelling coming on. I'm being stifled with these single shots. I'm going to start now to cover more distance. And that's when we started to see the the, the second, third, sometimes fourth punch land. And, uh, you know, it, I, I, I was, it was a good adjustment. It was the right adjustment to make. See, it's interesting because I have a few people here saying uh, 125 Strickland. I don't I don't disagree with you. I think if you'd have if you'd have asked me for my scorecard at the very end of the fight, without me having the luxury of going back and watching it again, I would have probably said the same thing. I would have probably gone one, two, and five. But then watching it in hindsight, I feel I can see I can see certainly why the second round was was uh, was was scored to to duplicy. I feel like he he finished stronger at the end of that second round. Um. But. I, I also feel like the fight was kind of upside down because I felt like it was going to be Strickland that was Strickland's second round was much more like his first round would I would have expected, you know, kind of stifling what was coming and and, and interrupting Duplessis with his jab and drifting away when Duplessis was attacking and like even though he was taken down he wasn't really controlled for very long he was able to, he, he was able to scramble very well very safely, um so so even that like like I, even though obviously that and that was that was a difference maker to a point for for Duplicy because he was scoring those takedowns i don't even feel like like strickland was particularly that bothered he was getting taken down because he was able to get back up relatively easy and this was a smart decision for Duplicy because i feel like sometimes he has tried too hard to hold people and control people down 
And that could have potentially been where he wasted energy. And I feel like, I feel like there are certain times where he has wrestled and grappled more than he needed to in the Till fight or more than he wanted to potentially in the Brunson fight. I feel like even, even though he was able to take Strickland down, he was conscious not to waste the energy to try and control him there because Strickland was very good at popping back up to his feet. But it was just enough to allow Duplessis to pressure forward and give Strickland something else to think about and that level change just to make Strickland a little bit more tentative. And it worked because Strickland started fairly strong. First round I gave him. Then the fight started to slip away from him. Say he won, you know, a three minutes of this of the of the second round, and then he lost from that point onwards. You can decide whether you think he won enough of the second round to win it on the scorecards. I'm still up for debate. Like I said, it, when I scored it live, I thought Strickland had pinched it, but when I watched it back the second and third time, I, I was like, yeah, you know, I think Duplessis might have just done enough, even even though he was getting eaten up with the jab a little bit. He was doing a good job of landing kicks to the body and legs at times in that round. 